Hello, this morning we think about composition. Composition is how you arrange the things in your art. For our Louise Nevelson project, you're going to gather some objects to display within your shadow box. You're going to start with seven objects. You might be able to add a few more after or take out a few if it feels too crowded. But the objects you choose, I want you to think about possible associations and meaning that would be in those objects. Your art might start to have a really interesting story behind it, depending on what you choose. Think about what we associate with a key. Maybe we think about a house or secrets or freedom. A key has a lot of meaning when you think about it. What about a broken pencil? This means something to a lot of us. If we see a broken pencil, we might think about frustration or the hurdles we face. Think about toys. What might toys in your shadow box signify? So the other thing I wanna talk about in composition is the rule of thirds. You may have seen lines like this at some point while you're taking a picture on a camera phone, or you might have heard of the rule of thirds. This rectangle, which is the same shape as what we'll be using, is broken down into thirds, both vertically and horizontally. There's equal space divided by three. These red crosses are the zones of your artwork where our eyes like to see something interesting. So in this photograph, you might see there's a tiny little person down at that lower right-hand corner. Our eyes like to see something there. It's easier to find that figure as a subject of this beautiful photo. In this photo, our eyes go to that shiny eye of the bumblebee. We also can see that the composition is broken down into a blank area, a bumblebee area, and then this third of the picture over here is the plant. This feels balanced to someone when they look at it. So as you arrange all of your objects, you're gonna think about which one draws attention, which one do I want in front? Can I get a variety of objects, long and thin, short and broad, things that are small, things that are large? I shuffled these objects around a lot of times to decide what I wanted to be featured in those special hot spots and what I wanted the eye to do as it goes around looking at things on the page. So here I drew lines that show that tic-tac-toe shape and I noticed that this bar looks really good when it's placed on that line. This boot is almost on that intersection down in the right hand corner and there seems to be some other objects that are along those lines as well. I settled on this composition. When you're designing your box, please make sure that nothing sticks above the brim of the box. Here's my composition painted white. And I noticed that my eye has a lot of places to travel around, which is a good thing you should check for on your art. Have fun.